You don't want to die. Of course I don't want to die. Well then, fight. I did! I tried! One time. House, get out of my car. You don't have to just accept this. Yes, I do have to accept this. I have five months to live, and you're making me go through this alone! <sighs> I'm pissed because I'm dying. It's not fair. And I need... I need a friend. I need to know that you're there. I need... I need you to tell me that my life was worthwhile. And I... I need you to tell me that you love me. No. I'm not going to tell you that unless you fight. What are you doing back here? We got a case. I assume the status is patients getting worse. You guys are confused. You think actually showing up for work is enough to make up for ruining an MRI, endangering the patient, injuring us? I got an airtight alibi that I'm working on. This isn't about the damage. You're back because something's going on with Wilson. I'm done with Wilson. What does that mean, you're done with Wilson? If he's not dead, you're not done with Wilson. I suddenly think you're going to make a difference. You can't just abandon him. It's in his hands now. You get any good pictures before the MRI drowned? Enough to know it wasn't a migraine. And the patient mistook me for Adams. Come with me. Hey. So what do you think is going to happen when I stick a needle into his eardrum? You quizzing us? Well, this is a good quiz. He'll scream in pain. Don't listen to her. Very small needle, very steady hand. <laughs> now, when I pull back on the plunger, what do you think is going to come out? Error. Boy, that air sure is red. Persistent stapedial artery. It should disappear in the embryonic stage, but just like his dead brother. He really can't let go. The artery's been pressing against the temporal lobe of his brain, right above the ear canal. It explains the voices, the dizziness, everything. Now you guys can explain how we're gonna make it better. Will my brother's voice go away? You're being an ass. I just cured a patient. How about you? You can't just give up on Wilson. You know he needs you. You know he's making an impossible choice. He just doesn't want to live in pain. Life is pain! I wake up every morning, I'm in pain. I go to work in pain. You know how many times I wanted to just give up? How many times I've thought about ending it? 